This is Karen. Hi, everybody. This is Shane. Today, we're looking at part two of Couscous. A taste mm. of Africa. Mm. And the vocabulary words are cherish. Cherish. I cherish the time I get to spend with my family. Oh. Recipe. Recipe. Ken shared a great recipe for fried chicken with his friend. Mm. Generation. Generation. This necklace has been in my family for generations. Comparison. Comparison. Last year, I often felt sad. This year, I've been pretty happy by comparison. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. Foundation. Foundation. Education is the foundation of every child's success. Okay, so we're still talking about the yummy, 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 yummy food, couscous. Ooh, it's mm. so yummy. That's right. I know a lot of countries, they have, you know, couscous or they cook it differently. How do you usually prepare your couscous? Yeah, so if I want to do something a little bit special, mm -hmm. because before I said you just can use it just like rice, and make it very simple, just steam it. That's right. But sometimes I like to cut up some vegetables. Okay. And maybe put some beans in there. Mm -hmm. and I'm a vegetarian, so no meat. Okay, maybe just some, vegetables. Maybe some tofu and some seasoning. Yeah. And then while it's steaming, the vegetables steam together mm -hmm. with that. And wow, it's just like a meal in itself. Sometimes I'll add a little tomato sauce or Ooh. something like Italian kind of pasta sauce. So mm. sometimes you add sauce and sometimes you don't, right? Yeah, it's fun to experiment with because it's so easy to cook. Mm. It's hard to fail when you're making couscous. And I'm just amazed by how fast it cooks. Yeah. <laughs> like just in a couple of minutes, right? Right. Mm. So simple. And because I think couscous is so easy to prepare, I think people all over the world like to make it. And as we saw in the article, it's even brought countries together that were really having trouble and it kind of made them realize we share this cultural cultural heritage of eating couscous. And then they realize food is more important than fighting. That's right. Right? What a wonderful message. Seriously, food is the thing to bring people together. Mm hmm Okay, let's learn more about couscous. All right. Couscous, a taste of Africa. Across North and West Africa, couscous is an important part of culture and is prepared and eaten in various ways. For example, in Libya, couscous is typically served alongside meat, with cherished family recipes passed down from one generation to the next. By comparison, Moroccan couscous is traditionally served with vegetables in sauce and eaten on Friday. On this holy day, Moroccans spend many hours preparing a huge tray of couscous to be enjoyed following the midday prayers. Welcome everyone. Today's lesson is called Couscous, A Taste of Africa, Part 2. Hi everyone, I'm Jeff. I'm Kim. Today we'll once again be talking about the wonder food that is couscous. We've learned a lot about couscous so far, including its origin and exactly what it is. And today we'll be learning more about how people eat it and when they eat it and maybe how it brings them together. Okay, now let's start in the part of the world where people think couscous came from originally, Africa. Now, across North and West Africa, couscous is an important part of culture and is prepared and eaten in various ways. So there you go. There's not just one way to eat couscous and it serves many important purposes in culture as well. It's not just food. It's a part of culture in North and West Africa. How cool is that? Very cool. A lot of cultures will do this with food. They will take it and use it in a different way, cook it a different way, add their own spices, sauces, and make it their own. And then it's unique to that culture. And then it's and also in some parts of North and West Africa, couscous can become a part of your family. Yes, for example, in Libya, couscous is typically served alongside meat, with cherished family recipes passed down from one generation to the next. So you can make grandma's couscous. You can make grandma's couscous. So does couscous become your child? No. But does it become an important part of 
family celebrations? Absolutely. From one generation to the next, over many years, a couscous generation, a couscous recipe that's been handed down from one generation to the next, I should say, can become important in your family. Anyways, here it says that people have cherished family recipe. But before we get into, oh, these recipes and what they mean to certain cultures, let's talk about some vocabulary. First up, we have the word cherish. It's a verb. If you cherish something, you love that thing. You really love that thing. You adore it. You hold it in high regard. It has a special place in your heart. For example, I cherish the time I get to spend with my family. Every moment I get, it's limited, so I cherish those moments. Absolutely. And here we're not talking about time with family that people are cherishing. We're talking about cherished recipes. Yes, recipes are important in a lot of families. They're passed down from grandparents to show people how they made traditional foods. A recipe is a list of ingredients and directions for making food. The recipe can be really simple, just a cup of this or a teaspoon of that. Put it all together and what temperature do you cook it at? 400 degrees, something like that and it's the list and directions for making food. For example, Ken shared a great recipe for fried chicken with his friend. Ooh, that sounds Ooh, good. it does. Okay, next up we have the vocabulary word generation. It's a noun. Very simply, a generation is a group of people that are born at around the same time. One note though, okay? There is a separation between generations, okay? Parents and their children are not parts of the same generation, okay? Parents are born at around the same time, and they form their own generation. Their kids will be their own generation, and their grandkids, so on and so forth, will form their own generations. That's the idea. A group of people born at around the same period of time, and usually separated, like grandparents and parents and kids are. For example, this necklace has been in my family for generations. Oh, yeah, so was, maybe it was your great-grandmother's? It was, it was actually rescued from the Titanic. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, actually, it, oh. it wasn't. That's, that's a plot of the movie Titanic. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and learn some more about couscous. Well, by comparison, Moroccan couscous is traditionally served with vegetables in sauce and eaten on Friday. That's compared to the Libyan one we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. Now, on this holy day, Moroccans spend many hours preparing a huge tray of couscous to be enjoyed following the midday prayers. So there you go. They spend a lot of time making this couscous, and the idea is that you make the couscous, and then you pray, 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 and then you chow down. The couscous becomes an important part of this religious way of spending these holy days. Yes, and we have the word comparison here. A comparison is to tell how two things are alike or different. You're just highlighting the ways that these things are similar or not so similar. For example, last year I often felt sad. This year I've been pretty happy by comparison, compared to last year when I felt not very good. It was 2020. Who can blame yeah. you? <laughs> this year I've been pretty happy. Okay folks, with that it's time for us to take a short break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好,我是Hanny.我们在第一天的课文读到 Couscous 起初是从北非西非开始传播到其他地区那么在北非和西非的各地这道菜是他们文化里面很重要的一部分人们会用各种方式来烹调和吃这种食物好那先补充一下这道菜老师在开场的时候有用到originally这个字 L-R-I-G-I-N-A-L-L-Y Originally Couscous通常会搭配肉类一起,然后随着珍藏的家传食谱代代相传。
。好，那相较之下，摩洛哥的 couscous 在传统上则是搭配蔬菜酱汁，那他们会在周五吃。他们会用好几个小时来准备一大盘的 couscous， 然后在正中午祈祷完之后，好好的享用。Chow 老师这时候用到片语 chow down， chow down 就可以用来表达大快朵颐、大口的吃食物。再来看课文单字 cherish， cherish 它表示真爱、珍藏。老师在解释单字时，他用到 adore 这个动词 a d o r e， adore 它表示热爱、非常喜欢的意思。还有用到。Hold somebody or something in high regard. 这可以用来表达对某人或某事物十分的敬重，十分重视。下一个单词 recipe. Recipe 是食谱的意思。那么 generation, generation 它可以表达世代，一个世代，同一个世代的人事物。再来看到 comparison. Comparison 它表示比较，对照。我们常常会用 by comparison 或者是 in comparison 来表达相较之下。那 Kim 老师说，我们在使用这个单字时，是要去强调、去凸显两者的异同。老师用到 highlight 这个字 ，h i g h l i g h t 这个动词可以表达强调，使什么显著、突出的意思。好，这边还有一个重点是 with 加受词加受词补语的用法。句型 with 加受词加受词补语是用来表达附带状况或是原因。那它的受词补语可以用介系词片语、形容词、现在分词或是过去分词。当我们用分词来当受词补语的时候，就是从受词跟受词补语的关系去判断。主动的话就是用现在分词 v i n g， 被动的话就是用过去分词 p p。好，来造四个例句哦。第一个例句。Helen looked at the picture with tears rolling down her cheeks. Helen 看着那张照片，泪水流下脸颊。那这时候我们是用动词 ing rolling 来当这个受词补语哦。好，再看第二个例句。They drove around with the windows rolled down. 他们把车窗摇下来，开车兜风。那这时候我们是用过去分词 rolled 来当受词补语。第三个例句。Nick had a hard time falling asleep with his stomach full. Nick 肚子很饱，难以入睡。那这时候我们是用形容词 full 来当受词补语。第四个例句 ：The girl sat on the floor with a book in her hand. 那个女孩坐在地板上，手里拿着一本书。那这时候我们是用介系词片语 in her hand 来当受词补语。接回到课文中。Couscous. A taste of Africa. Of course, each country thinks their way of eating couscous is the best. Although this could be a source of division, in 2020, couscous brought several rival countries together. Despite sometimes tense relationships between them, the countries of Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco, and Mauritania asked the United Nations to put couscous on its list of intangible cultural heritage. By doing so, they showed that a common love of a food mattered more than any problems they had with each other. Okay, so so far we've talked about how couscous is consumed in North and West Africa. Okay, in places like Libya and Morocco, couscous is a part of. The way that people live their lives—it's important to culture, and people even pass down recipes for couscous from generation to generation. It's kind of a big deal in this part of the world. But do people compete about couscous in this part of the world? Yes, of course. Each country thinks their way of eating couscous. Is the best naturally. Human beings will compete about anything that they can, including even, couscous. <laughs> even couscous. Now, although this could be a source of division, don't you dare say that your couscous is better. Although this could be a source of division, in 2020, couscous brought several rival rival countries together. How about that? That's right. Despite sometimes tense relationships between them, the countries of Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco, and Mauritania asked the United Nations to put couscous on its list of intangible cultural heritage. By doing so, they showed that a common love of food mattered more than any problems they had with each other. Yeah, let's not go to war 
over couscous. Let's make it a part of our common cultural heritage and have the world recognize it properly. Cool. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take another break, but don't go away. We'll be back to wrap up our article on couscous after this. <laughs> 那我们刚刚介绍了利比亚和摩洛哥有不同的 couscous 吃法，当然在其他国家也有不同的料理和食用方式。每个国家都会觉得自己的方法才是最好的。虽然大家意见分歧，可是，在二零二零年，这道菜却让好几个敌对国家团结了起来。课文就写到说，尽管有时彼此之间的关系很紧张，但是阿尔及利亚、突尼西亚。摩洛哥、还有毛利塔尼亚等等这些国家一起要求联合国要把 couscous 列入非物质文化遗产的名录当中。好，文中写到这个 intangible cultural heritage 就是指非物质文化遗产。其中这个 intangible 这个形容词呢，它可以用来形容是无形的，或者是难以触及或是理解的。好，这边还有一个重点是。介系词 despite 它表示尽管虽然，那么后面要接名词或动名词，这时候 despite 它就跟 in spite of 意思相同。那我们来造两个例句 ：Despite the rain, they went to the park. 尽管下雨，他们还是有去公园。In spite of feeling sick, she went to work. 尽管不舒服，她还是有去上班。接华课文中 ，Couscous。A taste of Africa. In North and West Africa, couscous is the foundation that meals shared between families and friends are built upon. It's a part of the culture and a source of pride for each citizen. The importance of couscous certainly gives you food for thought. <laughs> okay, we're back and. Sadly, we're here to wrap up our lesson on couscous. <sighs> couscous, what a great food! It's a food capable of bringing people together. I could talk about this all day. It's too bad that this lesson is going to have to end. Yes, unfortunately, our time to talk、mm. about couscous is almost over. But before we go, we've got one last thing to tell you. In North and West Africa. Couscous is the foundation that meals shared between families and friends are built upon. It's a part of the culture and a source of pride for each citizen. The importance of couscous certainly gives you food for thought. I can't help it. It had to be in there. Food, food for thought. It's a, it's a saying. In did、English. you see means, what I did there? It makes you、yeah. think. Of, it makes you think. Food for thought. Couscous is a food. <clears throat> it's pretty good. Very clever.、Thank、okay,、you. before we before we get into our what do you think question, let's talk about the last vocabulary word of the day, the noun foundation. The foundation is the base or the basis of something. Now, let's say you want to build a big building. First, you've got to lay a foundation or build the foundation. Okay, the foundation is going to be at the bottom of the building, and it's going to have to be strong because it's going to have to support everything else that you're going to build on top of it. Now, similarly, a foundation is going to be a support that you build below anything else, so it's going to have to be strong. Yes, a foundation is the base or basis of something. You build a foundation because you want to build something on top of it. For example, education is the foundation of every child's success. Yes, without education, there is no success. How can you get a job, go to college, or things like that without education? Yeah, if you don't have a good base foundation of education, then you can't build anything on top, as he said. So, time for our what do you think? And today the question is. If you've ever tried couscous, how would you describe the taste? If you haven't tried it, would you like to? Why or why not? I ate couscous, oh, actually a lot when I was in graduate school. There was a Middle Eastern supermarket near our house, and we used to go there. And there was a lot of couscous on hand. And you know what? I actually learned to like it quite a lot. Couscous is chewy, like we said in the article, and it does have a nutty flavor to it. It's chewy, sometimes a little bit crunchy, and that nutty flavor, like I said before, it kind of has a walnut-like taste to it. I like it quite a lot. Couscous is not only delicious; 
It can save the world. Take my word for it. Anyways, let's go ahead and end today's lesson and say bye bye. Bye bye. Don't worry, we'll be back next time. 好，课文最后写到。在北非和西非 ，couscous 是家庭和朋友之间共享餐点的基础，它是文化一部分，也是人民自豪的来源。那这道菜的意义跟重要性确实值得我们深思。文中用到 food for thought 是指说值得深思的事，需要认真考虑的事。那因为我们的课程就是在讲食物，所以作者应该就是刻意用 food for thought 来玩文字游戏。那我们最后来看单字 foundation， foundation， 它可以表达基础、根基，这个字也有基金会的意思。好，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。For a roll cake, my friend recommended I drop by and see what you have to offer. Roll cakes are what we do best. We have some with whole fruit and some with fruit cream. Are you looking for a particular flavor or style? I'm not a fan of matcha. Anything else is fine. Our original and dark chocolate roll cakes usually fly off the shelves. I'd highly suggest you get one of those. See you next time.